We've been threatening to do a video about knee wraps for a long time now, and I actually hesitated to do this because I, I don't want the, the information I'm about to give you being misinterpreted. Okay, there are a couple of different reasons why you might want to use a knee wrap. First and most obvious is if you are a power lifter. And powerlifting knee wrap situation is most definitely not what I'm about to talk about. Okay, powerlifting knee wraps are a, a specialty item in terms of the equipment and they are used specifically to add weight to the lift by storing energy in the flexing knee as it goes down to the bottom. Uh, there are lots and lots of opinions about how the best ways to use these heavy wraps are and since I don't compete powerlifting anymore, I'm not going to presume to sit here and even claim that I know anything about them. Okay, so don't construe the following information to be applicable to powerlifters because that's not how it's intended. Okay, there are a lot of situations in which old guys like me that have been lifting a long time, or maybe younger guys like you that have had some knee problems, could stand to use a little bit of external knee support to add some compression to the knee joint. Uh, I've had surgery, as you can see, on this knee. In fact, I've had surgery on this knee as well. In fact, there's not a hell of a lot of stuff I hadn't had surgery on. So, in order that I can continue to train, sometimes I have to do things that I would not recommend for a novice. Wrapping the knees is certainly one of these things. I would never recommend knee wraps for a novice or probably not even an intermediate lifter because uh, guys in this situation are not beat up enough to need the things. Okay, we're not talking about knee wraps here for the purpose of helping you add a bunch of weight to the amount on the bar. What we're talking about is support wrap so that you can continue to train through various types of knee injuries. What might those injuries be? Well, there's, you know, you might run into uh, somebody that's got meniscal tears, you know, the, the meniscus torn in a couple of places. These types of injuries are very, very common. The knee becomes less stable, and the addition of a wrap, just a little bit of compression, might make it more stable. Uh, I've got fairly chronic patellar tendonitis. I've had it for three or four years, ever since I partook a very, very deep drink in a training method that I have since regretted using and as a result I've got quite a bit of inflammation right across here. When I wrap I can put enough compression on that tendon, change the mechanics as the tendon goes into the patella just enough to where I can actually train through this tendonitis. It, it produces just enough support to where I can train whereas otherwise I wouldn't be able to. It's the same thing as this belt. I've had enough back injuries to where I wear a belt for all sets over 135. And uh, I wouldn't even dream of doing it. The only thing that allows me to train in this situation, I'm 55, I'm a beat up person with a bunch of horse injuries and accumulated tendonitis type problems. These two pieces of equipment help me actually to continue staying strong. So, if you're in a situation where your knees hurt all the time and you've, you've got a chronic problem that doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon, you've tried massage, you've tried all the standard uh, relief modalities and you've still got knee problems, knee wraps might be something you'd want to consider. Now, let's pay close attention to the type of equipment because if you go online and you buy knee wraps, you've got to be careful to get the right thing. For instance, these white wraps right here are sold by Crane Power Plus, and these are actually fairly heavy. They're too heavy for our purposes. These are Super Wrap 10s. Uh, they're old, I don't even know if they sell these things anymore. As you can see, my equipment bag's kind of elderly, and I've had these laying around for quite some time. The problem with a wrap that is too heavy is that when you put it on your knees, if you get it wrapped around at any length at all, the thing is such a heavy piece of elastic that it applies so much pressure to your knees that 
it involves so much support that it's not really what we have in mind. We don't want enough wrap that we can't leave the wrap on for two or three sets. Well, in other words, we don't want to put so much pressure on the knees that we cause enough occlusion to where we need to actually take the wrap off in between sets. That's too much wrap. The type of wrap I'm talking about is the type of wrap that's just uh, just enough to, to produce a little bit. Now, now this is another one here. This is also a super wrap tin. And these, I think, are more modern versions of it. These are real, real heavy though. This is not what we're talking about. If you get online and buy wraps, don't buy these if you're trying to wrap the way I'm talking about here. We've got, the ones I use are these, these are the Harbingers, and this is the ones, uh, in fact, I just recently bought this pair and I bought them on Amazon. If you buy these wraps right here, note that the label is black with white lettering. Now, Harbinger sells a wrap that is heavier than this with a black label. Notice it's a white wrap, pretty much just dirty. The white wrap with red lettering in it, and that will be the heavier of the two. Those are also too heavy. We specifically want this nice, light, stretchy thing that's going to allow me to wrap my knees with just enough tension to help me keep my knee together, but not so much that it actually stores a bunch of elastic energy like we would use for a power lifting wrap, okay? And uh, the main purpose of this video is because we've had a bunch of people ask about how do we put the wrap on? Well, it's very simple. There's not really any reason to make this complicated. The first thing you do is you roll the wraps up. Roll them into a nice tight ball without any slack. Now you'll notice I'm not putting any stretch on as I wrap them, as I roll them into a, the preparatory roll here. So I'll uh, get both of them ready so that I don't have to roll one of the wraps while the other one is squeezing on my knee. <clears throat> now if you're a power lifter, you're familiar with the advice, the very good advice, that you should always have four wraps, two pair of wraps. And the reason for that is there is a high likelihood that if you get in a pressured up situation, time is running. You're timing your knee wrap for the clock. You're gonna drop, drop one of the ropes. You don't have time for that, so you're gonna have to have a spare one ready. Some people carry six wraps with them rolled up just in case something bad happens. We're not worried about that so much because we're just here in a gym situation and we're not going to put the wraps on tight enough to where it makes our feet go to sleep anyway. But what we are going to do is put the thing on so that it provides some general support for the knee. And since that's all we're trying to do, this is really a very simple procedure. Now, what I will do is I will start the wrap at the top. And there are, again, there are hundreds of ways to do this. This is just what I prefer. I put the wrap across the top. And I always wrap medial across the patella, in a medial direction across the patella, because I don't want to go lateral to the patella and, and push my patella with some of the band tension toward the lateral side. So we're not going lateral, we're going medial across the top of the patella. And I'm gonna take about two, maybe three, wraps across the top. Now you'll notice <laughs> my knees are different sizes. This is because of the scar tissue that is accumulated. Let me show you. Scar tissue that is accumulated because of a motorcycle wreck I had in 94. This knee's fatter than this one. And believe it or not, that makes a big difference in how I have to wrap the two knees. This fat knee takes up more wrap than this skinny knee over here. So, you'll be able to see this when you see the difference in the two wrapping procedures. Now I'm going to start across the top and I'm going to make two passes. And you'll notice I'm not just jerking the hell out of the thing because I don't want that much tension. I could really wrap these tight, but again, that's not the point. The point is just to squeeze it a little bit so everything stays in place. And then I'm going to cover half of the wrap then I'm going to cover half of the wrap again. 
Now I've reached the bottom of the knee, I've covered up the patellar tendon down here. Most of the support I want is going to be at the top because my tendonitis is quadriceps tendonitis on the, in, on the superior side of the patella. So I'm going to concentrate the tension right there. And I'm going to put another wrap right across the top of that. Okay? And then I'm going to tuck it and pull it all the way through. That way, <coughs> I know it's not going to come unwrapped in the middle of the set. Now I want you to notice the amount of tension. A little tight shot here. Josh, come right in. This is how loose I have wrapped this knee. See that? I can get my finger underneath it. It's not that tight. Okay. Now, no power lifter would ever put a wrap on that loose. But again, we're not doing it for those purposes. Now, the other side, once again, we wrap medially across the top of the patella. So I'm going to take a wrap across the top. I'm going to take it again. Then I'm going to come half. I'm going to cover half of the wrap up. And again, half of the wrap. Now I'm at the bottom of the knee again. And you'll notice that on this side, I've got a little bit of extra material. I'm going to leave it across the top there because this knee's a little skinnier than the other one. And that's my knee wrap job. Okay? Now, <clears throat> let's see if I've got a. I was looking at a pair of these the other day. It's occasionally useful. Oh, I gave those to her, didn't I? Okay. Maybe there's an old France suit in there. This bag is kind of a mess, isn't it? Here's a wrist wrap. Wrist wraps are shorter. They're half the length of a knee wrap. And you'll notice when I unwrap those, if I'm in a hurry, let me show you how you unwrap them. They come off quite a bit faster than they went on. Okay? If you've got problems at the top of the knee, that's the wrap that I prefer. If you've got problems at the bottom of the knee, as many people develop this patellar tendonitis down here, you might want to use a shorter wrap and just apply it around the bottom of the knee like this. Instead of covering the whole knee, you might choose to just place the support across the bottom of the patellar tendon as it goes from inferior patella to the tibial tuberosity. This is kind of an Olympic lifter wrap and it doesn't quite interfere with your range of motion as much as the previous uh, full knee wrap that I've used for the top of my patella. Okay? And in fact, what you can do is you can make one of these out of one of these light wraps right here by just taking a pair of scissors and cutting the thing in two. They don't ravel very much because of the elastic weave. And these things are like $12 a pair. They're not a lot of money. I got these on Amazon. <clears throat> Once again, they're the Harbinger. Black label with white lettering. I know, now there may be other, other types available that are the same tension, but I know these are the ones I want. And they've got them for sale on Amazon. So, I hope that answers some of the questions you guys have been asking about knee wraps. I don't know how helpful it is. But, uh, once again, please don't construe any of this information uh, as me offering advice to power lifters about how to wrap their knees. Those guys already know everything they need to know about this. But if you've just got some chronic knee problems, or you're an old guy, or you've got a knee injury or something like that that just needs a little bit of support, this is the wrap, and that's the way to do it. Thanks.